My name is David Simini. I'm a VPG driver developer working on DirectX 12. What I have here today is a demo that compares the power and performance differences between DX11 and DX12. So the demo I have to my right is our asteroid demo, and it renders 50,000 asteroids, and we render each asteroid using a single draw call. And the, so what we're trying to model here is we're trying to model the, um, the draw or objects lane that a lot of games are seeing right now where they're reaching a point where they can't keep the GPU saturated or their CPU limited. And so right now we're running in unlocked mode where, uh, this is where the application is trying to take full advantage of the CPU and GPU. And it's running at about 25 FPS in DX11. In the bottom right, there's a real-time power graph that shows the power distribution between the CPU and the GPU. So when I switch it to DX12, what you'll see is it'll go from 25 FPS to about 45 FPS. So there's about a 40% change uh, increase in the FPS. And the power graph helps explain why. In DX11, there was about a 40% overhead on the CPU. In DX12, it went to about 20%. And we were able to take that extra about 20% power and give it to the GPU and allow it to process about that 20, the 25 extra frames of GPU content. So that was the performance aspect of it. We can also lock the frame rate to directly compare the overhead of the two APIs. So I can lock that now. And we're locking it at 20 FPS, so both it, both APIs will generate the same amount of GPU work. In DX11, it's still about uh, 40, 60, or 50, 50, depending on how you look at it. Uh, if you switch it to DX12, what you'll see is, because it's still generating 20 frames of GPU work, the GPU graph won't change very much. But the CPU graph will drop dramatically to about a third of what it was before. And this is because of the raw overhead re uh, reduction in DX12. So, if you're like a mobile games company and you're, and you're interested in battery life, you might lock the frame rate at a playable rate to extend uh, the battery life of that device. So if we were running it maybe for an hour before, now you're running it for significantly longer uh, because of the power reduction offered by DX12. So to summarize, that's the power and performance gains you should expect while running DirectX 12 content on Intel graphics.